neighborhood exploring and we are going to Chiswick and yes I had to look up the pronunciation because I did not want to butcher it it's Chiswick for me and it's like Chiswick for British Brits for the Brits so that's what we're doing today I don't really know what to expect this was from a recommendation on my comments so I'll put that recommendation here I picked it from here so thank you for that it is in zone 2 of London so it's a little bit further out of central and if you're new here I live in around central London we're gonna have a great day hopefully I have looked up a few things beforehand to try to you know have little spots that I can start and then I can walk from there go exploring let's go to Chiswick I don't know what's in Chiswick but <laughs> let's go okay the trains coming in a second and I'm gonna see if I can get a cute video station is that it's very quiet which is amazing I'm here on a Saturday and it's really nice to get out of central London because of how busy it gets now it will be busy going back into central London later because everyone loves coming into town and going out but that's okay because when you get on the train this far out you get a seat because it's empty but the further you go in it gets busier so at least I'll probably be able to sit down but it's really nice out here so far it's cloudy like London how London is but it's not raining which is a plus because yesterday it was pouring down rain take a little video of me trying this bite. So this cafe is actually ran by an Italian family. Okay. There's like the little flatbread. I think it's, it's kind of like a pizza, but they didn't call it a pizza. So. The bread is really good. What a perfect day. I like Chiswick so far. It's very boutique-y and very small town, hometown feeling, and it's not that busy at all. Like at all. Yum. I like this new series. I like going out and exploring. I was kind of deprived of it. I was like, what, what am I doing wrong? And what I was doing wrong is not exploring London enough. Y'all inspired me a lot. Do because of your recommendations. You were like, get out of central London and go see other parts. So I'm doing just that. So thank you. I've been around the floor, rooftops, sliding doors. Just want to know you you wanna be a somebody Spending all of the night moonwalking And with the view she could see her building Try to tell her I know how I feel it Keep me flowing when I'm on my path Slow me down when I'm living fast that is 
still there. So it's next to, to the Hammersmith Bridge Road, which is, that's the bridge right there, and then the pub should be there. So we're gonna go try to find it. Okay, so we just stumbled past this museum, and we're gonna go in and check it out. It is free admission, so. Great running place. I've seen so many runners on this path because you can run where I was walking. And it's beautiful. There's so many cute history. Like, not cute history. <laughs> History's cute, but um, there's so much history. And it's super, super interesting and beautiful. I'm about to walk across the bridge. It's a, um, like an evergreen, evergreen color. And then we're gonna head to that charity shop. So it's been a really lovely day. It's so beautiful over here, so pretty. I can't believe I've never been over here. This is an adorable, adorable town. So if you're in London, definitely go to the riverside of Chiswick because let me tell you, follow along on this vlog, like go exactly where I go and you'll have a wonderful day. You make me wanna be with somebody Doing things that showed y'all so many charity shops that I popped into and they were all amazing. I got some goodies. As you can see in my bag, I'm like shoving it all in, but I got these boots that are adorable for 15 pounds, which is around like 18 US dollars. I'm so excited. I'll do a try on haul when I'm home. Of I got three items so far, so not much. Um, so I'll show you later. But we're gonna continue walking and popping into charity shops. But it's only back on the train. It is a 45 minute train ride home. 
So I brought my Kindle, I brought my book, and I'm just gonna sit on the train, read my book, and enjoy my ride back home. Okay, try on haul for all of you who stuck around. I just got home. So let me put my hair up to show you this. I got this top. The sleeves on it are fun. Very, so I think this would look really cute with a skirt. So instead of these, it'd be a skirt. Especially with like cute sunglasses during the summer. I think it's adorable. Like it's very, I don't know, throwback. But I really like it a lot. And then I have this cardigan. Like you can wear it with an undershirt, a tank top, or just button it up. And it's just a piece that I'll be able to use. I always shop to have pieces to use for a long time. I love it, like five pounds, that's it, six bucks. And then, my favorite purchase, these boots. Are you kidding? Look how cute they are. Right? 15 pounds, 15 pounds, they're adorable. And they fit, they're my size. I tried them on in store. And I love, like they don't look cheap either. They look really high quality and they kind of have a cowboy booty, like this lining right here, if you can see it. Right there, it's like cowboyish, which I like. That's all I got from the charity shops, but like, I also scored that in one charity shop, even though I went to so many and I showed you all the ones I went to, but I scored it in that one. I wasn't even gonna go to that one. Like I was going to the end, but like passing by all the other charity shops and I just popped into one, found these three items in one. Lucky me. The British Heart Foundation, that's the one I got all three pieces. So go, go. Oh,